In 2003, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss recruited young Mark Zuckerberg to build them a campus directory. Mark Zuckerberg then proceeded to bend the twins over and stick a billionaire fist up their kazooty, kicking them out of their own idea, building what we now know as Facebook and making a billion dollars. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how not to make the mistakes that most people make when coming up with a money-making idea. If you follow the framework I'm about to teach you, and I call it the how to not get screwed like the Winklevoss twins framework, then you too, sir, can come up with a money-making idea. The first thing you have to realize, and this is the most common thing, is number one, it should not be unique. Can't believe this woke dating app actually worked. Like, I'm about to meet my first match. Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm looking for Sarah. I am Sarah. I'm supposed to be on a date with a woman. <gasps> Are you saying I'm not a woman? Wait, 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 wait. I, I don't mean to disrespect you or anything. I, I meant like biologically a woman. Your profile said certified woke. Okay. Come here, Poppy. <laughs> Everybody thinks that if somebody else is doing it, it's too late. Or especially if everyone else is doing it, it's too late. But in fact, that's the best possible thing you can have. That's the best possible scenario. Because if no one's doing it, it probably means it's a crap idea. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Wait a minute. Edible toilet paper for when you're really in a pinch. And likely the people that do do that have some sort of business experience building up a legitimate business from an idea that has some stability. There are outliers like Mark Zuckerberg, but you're not Mark Zuckerberg, okay? You're not a robot. For us mere humans, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. And the first step is to not be unique. You see, if other people are doing it, it means that there's a market for it. It means that people are buying it. Now, here's the really cool part. If you are this guy right here, and you're the color black, and you sell the same exact product as the green guy, Here's the green guy, right? Here's what's crazy. People like to buy from people that they can relate to, the people that look like them. So if these two people are selling the same exact thing, and you have a bunch of people who happen to be the color black, right? And these, this is, doesn't mean race. This is the stick figure world. In the stick figure world, there is no race. You're just, just your ink color. So it's kind of a race. But the point is, is that there's gonna be black sticks that have this problem that this guy can solve. And then there's gonna be green sticks. Now, if they both solve the same problem, who do you think is more likely to buy from the green guy? Probably the green people. And who do you think is more likely to buy from the black stick figure? Well, the black stick figure people. And that is because these people can relate to this dude and these people can relate to this dude. So even though they're selling the same exact thing, because they can relate to that person more, they buy from them. Which means you can literally pick any product you want, any money-making idea. And as long as you be yourself and you, your unique self, other people are gonna relate more to you than they do to the other person. For instance, there's a thousand gazillion bazillion people that teach marketing and making money. But if you look like a punk rocker and you have this like crazy hair and you teach the same thing everybody else does, I'll bet you the people who dig punk rock and who have crazy hair and who are 35 years old and for still some reason wear that little studded bracelet thing that you wore when you were 16, for those people, they're probably gonna look at that person and be like, wow, I resonate with that person. I'm gonna buy from them. Bros, struggling with QuickBooks? Don't know how to categorize? your hot topic transactions well buy my course and then the dude with the like the suit you know and and like the the, the real nice tie and those slick hair all those guys they're gonna be like oh I like that guy he's got a nice suit I'm gonna buy from him same product same product and then the guy that looks like a Jack Drew Carey is gonna attract other Jack Drew Careys I don't know if there's that many Jack Drew Careys but for some reason people keep buying my stuff so the price is wrong <laughs> The point is just be yourself. The second thing, and this, this is, goes back to the Mark Zuckerberg example, is is it within your means? Is it within your means? What does this mean? It means if you come up with this idea and you're like, oh, 
I've got this amazing idea for this software and it would change the world, man. Bro, what if we made a refrigerator that locked you out when you've had too much to eat? Step away from the fridge, fatty. It could work. Well, guess what? If you don't know how to code, how are you gonna make the app? If you don't know how to recruit and manage developers, how are you gonna make the app? If you don't have any money to hire developers, how are you gonna make the app? If you don't know anything about the app game, how are you going to make the app? But if you choose something that you do know about, I'll give you an example. There, there, there are these two guys, they're called the Jump Rope Guys, and they have a YouTube channel where they teach how to jump rope. Now, because they know how to jump rope and that's their thing, what does jump roping do? It, it helps you lose weight. So they created workout programs using a jump rope and they sold this and they make money teaching people how to jump rope. And they just connected a skill that they had to a, a problem they could solve. Oh, I know how to jump rope. I can teach people how to jump rope and they can lose weight. <laughs> right, they, it was within their means. But if you're like, I have this idea for this app and I don't know how to code an app. I don't know anything about the app game. I don't know Jack. It's just this idea I had one day when I was stoned off my mind. I thought, man, wouldn't that be cool? It's not a good idea. Because like the Winklevoss twins, your idea that you can't execute on, if you tell it to anybody, they're gonna go execute on it. The Winklevoss twins were rich. You come hire a lawyer. Are you the dude sitting on your couch right now watching this video? Are you gonna hire a high-end lawyer to go after the dude that took your idea and made millions of dollars off of it? Probably not. The point is, come up with an idea that is within your means, that you can execute on without relying on anyone else so that you can make money from it immediately. And finally, the third thing you have to look for in this don't get screwed like the Winklevoss twins framework is this. And this is the most important. Your idea cannot just be cool. It has to solve a problem. Taxis are too expensive. What's the solution? Uber. You need to get out of my car, okay? <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's inconvenient to drive to the video store to rent the movie. What's the solution? Netflix. <laughs> Ew! You see, every single solitary successful money-making idea is a solution to a problem. Even fidget spinners, they solve the problem of being bored. So if you have this amazing idea, you're like, bro, what if they made an ice cream truck that had flames shooting out of the bottom and smoke coming up from the top and it was playing ACDC while strobe lights were everywhere? Wow, I'm back in black. That would be super cool, but does it solve a problem? No. It doesn't. And so if it doesn't solve a problem, it's not gonna make money. People pay for solutions to problems. They just don't pay to see cool things happen. And, and if they do, they're going to a show because they have a problem of not being entertained. Nobody's gonna be walking down the street and be like, I'm gonna buy that because they spent $200,000 making this truck so I could buy a $5 ice cream. Okay, bad idea. So it can't be unique. It has to be within your need, means, and it has to solve a problem. If you can stick to this in the beginning, in the beginning, you can make money with an idea right now. But if you try to get all Mr. Fancy Pants and become a billionaire in your first venture, you're probably going to be sitting there eating potatoes on the couch watching Judge Judy reruns because she's probably dead by now. Is she still alive? <laughs> yeah, don't be stupid. The point is, you do these three things, you can start making money now. And then maybe someday you come up with a truly unique idea, but you have some experience under your belt. So if you like these videos, if this helped you, then you might wanna click on the subscribe button because if you click on the subscribe button, then the next time I release one of these maddening videos, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. But if you don't subscribe, you're not even gonna know about it. It's just gonna happen and you won't be there. You won't be there and you'll have absolutely no idea that it happened. So subscribe, thank you. See you in the next one.